The European Union wants Nigeria to reconsider its stance on the Economic Partnership Agreement, an instrument the Commission says will support economic diversification, local added value, and give access to the EU market of over 400 million consumers. The EU ambassador to Nigeria and the head of delegation to ECOWAS said this at the 9th EU Nigeria Business Forum in Abuja. Muyo Thomas reports. The 9th EU Nigeria Business Forum intends to foster real time investment in Nigeria in line with the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Tinubu's administration. The EU believes one of the ways to boost trade relations between Nigeria and the EU is through the Economic Partnership Agreement, an agreement that seeks to create a free trade area between Nigeria and the EU. But with the ninth edition of the Business Forum, EU assures of more economic investments, especially in agriculture, for increased food security, digitalization for a more competitive economy, and health. And we are all aware of the difficult situation that Nigeria is facing with the effect of high inflation and naira depreciation that is heavily felt by citizens but by companies alike. But there are also some positive signs that I would like here to mention. One of the consequences of the depreciation of the Naira is a welcome increase in portfolio investors. And there are as well encouraging signs of a boost of exports, at least in the West African region. This strategy aims at supporting infrastructure and soft connectivities in the fields of major global challenges where we share interest. And this is why with Global Gateway, we want and we do support Nigeria in, it, in its path toward renewable energy and fight against climate change overall its greening agenda. Most importantly, in order to enable us confront our reality, which include, among others, decades of underinvestment in many areas of our national life. And in doing so, we are mindful that capital is out there. So what we need to do is to ensure that we put policies in place that will motivate capital holders to feel confident in investing in our economy. Ambassador Samuela Isopi also appreciated Nigeria for helping to repatriate over 98% of the $850 million backlog of European Airlines Fund and other EU businesses. She also applauded the decision of the federal government to remove foreign exchange restrictions on the importation of 43 items. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.